Right guys, welcome back to another midweek video. Now you guys all know how much we love our Infinity Wax stuff, we use it for everything. But one thing I haven't tried yet, and I'm desperate to give it a go, and it'll help you guys out as well, is the Synergy 2. So you can actually get two years of protection on your car for 39 So we're going to give it a go and see how it works and see how easy it is to apply. But we're not doing it on the Micro. We're not doing it on the Peugeot and it's not on the transporter either. It's going to be on something a little bit different. Right guys, so obviously before you put any type of ceramic coating on, you need to have a really good, really good wash to decontaminate all the paintwork. Now, we're pretty lucky, this little car's been looked after. It doesn't need any machine polishing, which is great, but it does still have loads of contaminants on it. So we've gave it a really good scrub. We've also used our claim it over the top of it. And now I'm going to use Infinity Wax Liquid Fire. Now this is an iron fallout remover. And once you've washed it, you'll literally just give it a spray. Don't let it go in your eyes, it does nip your eyes a bit. Wheels, front. You don't need massive amounts of this. Right, there we go, we've got a small coating of that all the way around the car. We're just going to leave that to work for a few minutes and then rinse it off and then we can start the drying stage. I'm going to use a blow gun, blow it all down. Try and touch it as less as possible. The more you touch the car, the more you scratch it. So we use our air light to dry it off. Yeah. Then we'll reverse it into the garage. Any wee tar spots and stuff that are left, we'll use a tar and glue remover. And then we're almost ready to start applying the ceramic coat. Right guys, we've just finished hoovering this wee thing out. Charlie's just in the process of putting that seat back in. So we had the seats out and hoovered it, but you have seen us do that before, so we didn't film too much of that. But we've done all the door checks. I've also, we also gave the engine bay a clean. It's not had a full on detail because we've only got the car for the day, so. Um, I'm about to dress it all, it's been cleaned, I'm about to put some dressing on it. Once we get the dressing done on the plastics, and we've got the windows cleaned, I'm going to QDX all the door trims, and then we can shut the car up, and that's everything inside done. And then we can go around, bit of tar and glue remover, bit of pre-panel prep, yeah, and then... Stuff off so we can yeah. use a synergy tool start applying the ceramic coating all these products we use these are all available on our website direct for us um, they're not massively discounted but when you buy them off of us it goes towards supporting the channel and helping us out and helping keep all this content coming so we really appreciate it now let's get these door checks done what is up with Volkswagen using dodgy bolts for everything? They're splines. Mm. Splines are quite good. It's the same splines they use in the drive shafts. They're not the best to put back in or take out. They're alright. Right, you guys know how much me and Charlie love Infinity Wax products. Charlie's using Finale the now. It's brilliant for plastics, I love it. But it's, when it comes to glass, I swear by Autoglim Fast Glass. And it might be just because I've no tried the Infinity Wax one. I've I've used Autoglim Fast Glass for years since I was Charlie's age with Uncle Brian cleaning cars, um, and I've sworn by it. I love the smell of it. I love the way it works. It's streak free because I'm a nightmare for streaking windows, but with Autoglim Fast Glass, I never streak them. It's brilliant. So, yeah, for me, it's worth it. I will try the Infinity Wax stuff. It's green, the Infinity Wax one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what it smells like, but we'll, we'll maybe get a bottle and try it. If it's as good as fast class, I'll use it. Right, engine bay's all cleaned and dressed. Looks much tidier. We did notice, we, we did notice that the splitter was loose. So Charlie's just about to lie down there now and screw that back on. May as well do it while it's here. Right guys, one of the last steps now is tar and glue remover. So there is still a couple of wee heavy tar spots that haven't came off yet. So we'll use Infinity Wax tar and glue remover. Again, available on our website. And you don't need a lot of this. Just a tiny wee bit. Let it sit for a minute and you'll see them starting to bleed straight away. This is a bit where Charlie zooms in and shows you it. Oh, just coming. So yeah, just let them soak for a wee minute and then just get your cloth, agitate them slightly and off they come. But look how easy they come off. No massive pressure, nice and gentle. There you go. Almost there. Unfortunately, with this being white, there's some everywhere, so I'm not going to bore you with the whole process. I'll go in and get the rest of these off. And then we'll be on to the last stage. Right, guys, tar and glue. That right, guys, is definitely going on a t shirt. Tar and glue remover done. It looks so much better already. Now, the last stage and quite an important stage before you ceramic coat the car is you have to go around and prep it with a panel wipe you need to make sure all the previous coatings greases fingerprints and everything are all off so that's what charlie's doing now just remember and flip the cloth now and again charlie yeah <laughs> um yeah you need to make sure the surface is completely free a waxes, tar and glue remover, all that type of thing, or the ceramic coat just won't stick. Now, this roof, this roof's actually vinyl wrapped, and it's got loads of scratches in it. And some bits, like here, I don't know what's happened to it, but it's mega scratched. Now, the problem with vinyl is, we can't machine polish it, before we ceramic coat it because it's a vinyl wrap so but you can ceramic coat over the top of the vinyl and that's what we're going to do so it should make it look a lot better but it's amazing how how much cleaner this thing looks already just with a decent wash and a few products it looks really good i like these vents and they're functional Unlike the micro. Unlike the micro vent. Should they be functional with it? Yeah. Just rem remember and do the wing mirrors as well, Charlie. It's every single panel. I don't know the tar and glue, so Charlie's doing all the panel wiping. And then we can get onto the ceramic coating. A lot of people think a ceramic coating isn't something you can do at home. But you can actually save yourself a huge amount of money by doing this yourself. And I find it quite therapeutic as well. Getting your car a right good clean is quite therapeutic. On a nice Sunday day, just a couple of beers in the driveway, get your car out. Yeah, but it's a Monday and we're working. <laughs> it's a Monday. <laughs> and we're not having beer because we need to go and pick the customer up after this. Um, but yeah, you can save yourself an absolute fortune. Uh, hi mate, I was just wondering if you could give me a rough cost of doing a ceramic coating on my C at Ibiza FR. Yeah, but we've got a set of prices, so we're right. covering the roads. Um, so we just depend in terms of what option you invest in. Right. We've got a single stage package, uh, two year coating, and we've got a two stage correction and two year coating. Um, right. Right, so in terms of condition, what, uh, what's the likelihood of the sun hitting the car wash you, right? 
All right, no, it's it's in really good condition at the moment. I've always looked after it, so it always gets a three bucket wash, and it's it's not got a lot of marring on it. It's very very clean. Well, then, then you probably just need to go to the second stage. Right. All right. All right. Okay, that sounds good. Brilliant. Well, thanks, thanks, mate. Cheers. Bye bye. So there you go. That was just the first one that popped up on Google. Three hundred and fifty pound, and then he offered me a discount because it was clean and it brought the price down to two hundred and eighty pound. So, it's 39 for this. Couple of beers in your driveway, couple of hours of your time. You can save yourself a fortune and get the same two year coating that that guy would have probably done. See, that's no fair though, because we're going to do this. That guy's not going to get paid. And he's got hope that he's going to get paid though. I just wanted the price. And we yeah, got a like, price. Yes, I've got a customer coming <laughs> to go. And I'm going to get commission. I just wanted to see how much it would cost. It's cheaper to do it yourself. A lot yeah. cheaper. And it's not going to be any different for what he would do. To be fair, you will need... It's thirty nine ninety nine for this. But we used um, incinerate wheel cleaner. So liquid fire to decontaminate. Uh, liquefy tarn glue. I've used QDX on the door checks. We, we use fresh interior. We use the dressing. We use finale. We use success. We're going to be using the tyre candy. So, if you're in cleaning your car anyway, you'll probably have all of this. Right? But if it's a f complete one off, it's probably going to cost you, what, 150 over, quid? Over, yeah, I was going to say over 100, but yeah. About 150 pounds, maybe, to buy everything you need, including all of these and that, to do this yourself. And microfibers, of course. Yeah, so 150, you're still saving 150 pound or 130 pound, even yeah. if you have to buy it all. So, it's well worth it. Right, as I showed you already, there's some hefty scratching on this vinyl. We can't machine polish it, so I'm not even sure how this is going to work. You can ceramic coat vinyl and wrap, it's not a problem. And I'm hoping it will cover this scratch up a bit and make it look a bit better. But like I said, vinyl, you can machine polish it, so... With the kit, you get your bottle of Synergy 2, you get your microfiber, you need a pair of gloves, you need another microfiber to level the ceramic coating, and then another microfiber, a nice fluffy one to buff. And then what you want to do is you want to break big panels into sections, so I'm going to split this roof into four, and we'll do this back quarter, front, that front and that back quarter and then we'll move on to the bonnet and so on and so on but basically there's a wee dripper on the end of this get your pad keep it clean do not drop this pad or you'll end up with scratches but you want to run just a few drops just like that on your pad and then section it off. So start in straight lines. Like so. Just take your time. We're not rushing this. Nice and easy. So easy to apply. And then you can take your leveling cloth. It's nice, straight, flat, low pressure. Like that. Give that a minute to flash off. Right, so we've gave that a minute to flash off. Next you get your nice soft buffing cloth. And again, straight lines, never circles. 
finish it off with a wee buff just like that and there we go it's covered some of the scratches some of the lighter scratches don't look as bad the big scratch it still looks pretty bad but it looks a lot glossier than the rest of it Does it show on camera? Not really, but in person it shows. I, I've got a feeling it will look better on the actual paint. Yeah. But that is now protected for two years. So all we're going to do is continue the process from the rest of the car. Do the rest of this roof. It was nice in here with the radio on, but now because we're filming, we can't have mainstream music on. So what I might do is when we get this roof finished, we'll pop a time lapse on. Time. We've finished the bodywork. How long has it been, Charlie? About an hour and a bit? Look at the shine coming off of that. Now, Synergy 2, it tells you not to wash your car for at least seven days. And that's because the product continues to develop and adhere to the car and bring out the gloss. Now, the roof looks so much better, but we still, we can't, we obviously can't get rid of some of these scratches. Some of them are just really bad. But the rest of the bodywork, I mean, it's white, so it's hard to tell, but look at the reflection in that white. It's so good looking. Charlie's just getting the wheels uh, prepped just now, because we're also going to ceramic coat the wheels. We ceramic coated the headlights, we ceramic coated the tail lights, the wing mirrors. So they're all fully protected as well. It just looks so good. Look at that with the lights out of it. And with the lighting in here, it does look good. I love this unit. Love it. It's nice and warm. We've even got t-shirts on. Charlie's got his jumper off. That's how good it is in this unit. It's so pretty cool. Look, I <laughs> but this looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. really good really good and protected for two years and looking at the bottle by the time we've finished doing the wheels we'll have used about half a bottle so realistically if you buy this you're protected for two years in two years time do it again or maybe a year top it up whatever you want to do yeah, do your wife's car, do your neighbour's car. Charge your neighbour. Do your car, then charge your neighbour for doing it, and that'll pay for all your Infinity Works this products. Is like the same size as the average car. Like, yeah. Yes, there's polos, golfs. Yeah, so I think... Half a bottle to the base cost. If we were doing our Audi, I don't even think we'd use much more than that. No. But it spread really well. I'm really happy with it. Really happy with it. It looks spot on, so... Right, is that the wheels all done? Yeah. Right, we'll ceramic coat the wheels. The entire thing. And then some tyre candy. And this one's done. Right, heaters are off, jumpers back on. We need to go and pick this guy up. But this car's looking... It looks brilliant, absolutely brilliant. A few years work, it's protected for two years. And it's all using stuff that you can buy off your website. So if you want to support the channel and you want to do your car, jump on the website, grab some of these. We'll send them directly out to you. If you don't fancy doing it yourself, there is a form at the bottom of your webpage. You can fill your vehicle details in and you can actually book it in with us and we'll do it for you. So if it's not something you fancy taking on yourself, drop us an email and we'll book you in. 
But yeah, I think he's going to be over the moon with this because it looks so much better. No tar spots, no marks, no nothing. It just looks apart. Brilliant result. That's it for this midweek video. Thanks again for joining us. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell because we do day two videos a week. And make sure you check out the HBG VIP channel as well for extra content over there. Thanks again, guys. See you next week.